Morning, back to watercolours today. Uh, I was watching uh, Tim Wilmot do a demonstration, watercolour demonstration, line and no, it wasn't line and wash, it was pencil drawing, using the Google, one of the Google Street Scenes. And that's a great way of getting reference material. Personally, I'm trying to get away from doing representational art, but it was a very good demo, and he was demonstrating using a, a number six Raphael. Synthetic mop. Well, I went online and, and this is what I came up with the number six. It's almost as big as the number six SAB squirrel mop, and this one's not synthetic, it's a goat hair. So I'm going to try it, try it out. It's quite expensive. And this is Fabriano 130 pounds, watercolours, uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, burnt sienna. So, oh, sorry, I'm going to. Uh, I'm a bit close to my knee to try that. I'm going to do another sort of autumn coming into winter wet scene. Done many times before. It's a demonstration of, of, of painting with, with, a, with a mop, really. But I'm going to do the sky and general stuff with, with the uh, 2 inch or the 45mm hake, which is my stuck in trade. So I'm just going to not too wet. But just enough, so it did too much. Not a lot runs down the the board. So we'll uh, do a bit of a wintry sky. So ooh, let's have a bit of bit of grey, bit of grey, a bit of a lizard. Okay. I come down there, a bit of a lizardy. Lot here. And now we'll put in some raw sienna. Usually go the other way round. Let's clean it up a little bit. They've got a bit dry, so these paints I've, I've given them a spray. So okay, now we're going with one decent cloud. the top here. This all dries lighter, that's a little bit thin. Okay, so that's a, that's how to do a sort of a quick background. You can do quite a lot with it while it's wet, but once it starts to dry, and I'm going to help it dry, You, if you hit it wrong, it will go with it with cauliflowers. This is quite an inexpensive paper. It's, uh, you can buy it, I buy it from either Curtis Ward or Art Discount Grantham's. I got the idea for the paper from Stephen Cronin. Uh, along with using the, this, this smaller palette, with um, colours that dry. I used to use use straight out of the tube on a much larger tray, which I'll show you. Uh, that one, look, twice the size. But I'd squirt the paint out of the tube around the periphery of this thing, and you've always got you've got lovely wet paint. Oh, what's going on? Lovely wet paint to. Uh, to get a nice strong mix, I sorry guys, just knocks over my arches paper and my glue, my PVA glue. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to, going to give this a dry now. So headphones off or mute, go. I don't want it bone dry, I just want it dry enough. Let's just flatten that. See, you, you, that's not very dry there, but that's okay. Right, now we, we'll try this, uh, this mop. 
So some nice autumny greeny siennas, bit of bit of umber in, a bit of a paint grey in that, a bit of bit of uh, yellow. Because a lot of trees now have got a sort of a yellow cast to them. So let's, uh, let's just uh, Strengthen them up a little bit. Right, we can put some shadowy colours in there. Oh, nice that. Try to keep the tree not symmetrical and we'll uh, do some, some another one smaller one here i did something similar a few weeks ago but this is a demonstration of, of painting autumn trees as you go along I'm making it up it doesn't exist catching the dry the spots on the paper. Okay, let's uh, put some background in. Nice green. That dries. I'll, I'll put in some background, a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of a bit of ultramarine. Just to give a bit of recession to that. Let's see what happens there. So this is a demonstration of painting autumn trees using mostly a mop. We can texture that afterwards. Right, let's get some nice dark greeny bluey. Oops, got to have quite a bit of water on this brush I think because it is a mop. Ultramarine, bring it to a point, a bit more colour. Right, that's uh, So a bit of yellow to that thing. So this is all, all just a bit of stuff in the background. Usually I'll do the backgrounds first, but I got carried away with using the, the, the mop. So we'll have a bit of, bit of evergreen. A lot of evergreen, even though the leaves are falling off most of the trees, you'll get a lot of greenery. And I can take my my trees, my trunks up in there somewhere and we can add a bit more to it. Nice green.
I'm going to take a bit of going to use I wouldn't like to say whether there's any better or worse than the, the squirrel mob. I thought it was going to be smaller, but uh, it's turned out to be quite uh, a good brush one. We're going uphill there, so let's just get some nice dark, greeny colour. Need a bit more colour. All very similar to what I was looking at in Morden Hall Park last week. Right, the hike is certainly better for doing this sort of thing, but um, hey, I need to get much more strength over one side, so we'll uh, burnt sienna, blue, great mix. Right, okay, so let's put in some reflection. Oh, well, we'll put in a bit of, bit of uh, grass and, and stuff here. I'll use the hake for this because I'm sort of happy with that. So let's just uh, go in with a bit of, bit of greeny. Oh, well, the plenty of marshy stuff. We went through the, the wetlands in Morden Hall and but I say we, there's my old mates riding badly on bikes. The old men riding badly on bikes society, we call ourselves. And we went through the wetlands where they have just done this most magnificent boardwalk. It's a wonderful use of lottery money. <laughs> so here we are, this is just, now we can get some dark bits in there. This is just grass. I'm not painting bulrushes or anything like that. I'm just doing a, a wet, heathy, landy sort of picture, which I like. Move that up a bit. A nice bit of warm for sienna. A bit of, a bit of that, a bit of this. I can show a little bit of reflection in there. And that dries a little bit. Okay, we'll strengthen that up when we've done some of these background trees. So I'm going to use this little brush, this little, it's a little, is it? Right, and see how we can get on with a nice sort of grey. It's, it splits. So maybe that's because I'm using it too too weak. So that's a Finish some of this with a rigger. Okay, so I've left some unpainted there so I can put some heavier foliage in. So let's just put in some, some of that. Uh, right, okay, the same on the other side, but I'll probably do a couple. very gentle. Right. 
So two on one side, one on the other, but it's had a little bit of blue to this. Forest. The painting from photographs is great, but we can overuse them and, and paint uh, literally, and you end up doing what you try to get away from. Go away. Okay, so that's a nice simple little scene. A simple. Rainy sort of. Right, let's just get done. So maybe I'm trying to use this this brush to do what it's not really qualified to do, and that's uh, stay in a in a point when um, painting dry. It doesn't really seem to like painting dry because it is a mop. So these will dry lighter. Hopefully, and then let's put a little bit of a, when that's, oops, let's just stiffen up a little bit. Okay, that'll do for that. Let's go in darker with the, with these. Oh, just filling in the gaps a little bit, there's a bit of a rogue here there. And we can uh, put a little bit of ivy in there, I think, if she doesn't mind. Surviving on oaks. Right, that's, Well, that blue will uh, check through there. And put a darker blue. It's a little bit weak at the moment. Sort of colour. Then we'll texture a bit of a bit of that with a rigger. Uh, rigger. Excuse me. Oh, oh, that's going to be bigger. Oh well, never mind. It's somewhere. They're all, they're all somewhere. Oh, I can see it. I can see a bigger. There's a lot going on in the house in the last couple of weeks. The ceiling nearly came down and it's all been repaired. So stuff is everywhere. 
Right, okay, let's uh, do some some of this. Just add some heavier stuff, some just sitting in high spots. Don't need to overdo this. Hard not to, I know, but but we want the, the nice warm colours in the foreground here. don't need to do a lot because a few suggests a lot and if you put a lot in it it'll just be too much. That. I know, don't know if it's worth signing, but the thing is, it takes a little while to, to go from one technique to another. Let's do some more line and wash. Because they're, they're usually very popular. I, I'll put out a mount. Better than I thought it would. Uh, on there. Well, I don't know, that's a simple enough scene, isn't it? Let's just come round and I'll just tilt the board up. That's a, a simple enough scene for you to have a go at, but the, it, it, it was an experiment, experiment in using this, this new brush. I, I can't say it's any better than the squirrel, but the squirrel costs twice as much. Um, but it's a nice brush anyway. I think maybe I'll get a, a smaller version of it, it might be a bit better. I, it's a synthetic mob I wanted. But I don't know why we went wrong on the ordering, but it's a, it's a nice brush anyway. Uh, so what we've got is, a, is a, a scene, a parkland scene after a lot of rain, a heathland scene. Just very simply stated, thanks for watching, bye bye.